Hi, this is Shring Siddharth and welcome to the next video of this Java Fundamental series. In this video, we will explore the arithmetic operators. So as the name itself implies that these operators simply help us to perform addition of two numbers, subtraction, multiplication, division and also how to get a remainder from a particular division such as modulus operator. Now this modulus operator simply gives us the remainder such as 3 modulus 2 that is when 3 is divided by 2 it simply leaves a remainder of 1. So this modulus operator simply returns the value of remainder as the output. So here inside the IntelliJ IDE let us explore the arithmetic operators such as let us first check out int x equal to 10 modulus 3 what it gives us. So simply print out the value such as s out x and now simply run the code. So inside the console we got 1 as a value that is 1 is the remainder when we divide 10 divided by 3. Now let us make it 2 and again run the code. And this time the remainder is 0 because 10 is absolutely divisible by 2. And now let us explore the division operator such as 7 divided by 2. And here in this case we got 3 as the output. Now you must be thinking 7 divided by 2 is actually 3.5. Then how come we are getting 3? Now this is simply because here on the left hand side we are using integer data type. Now this integer x do not support the decimal point value. So what it do it simply strike out the decimal portion and simply prints 3 as the value. So what is the solution for this? So here we can simply use float and now simply run the code. And here we go again we are getting 3.0 as the output. Now in case of float, the float supports the floating point value that is it supports the decimal value. Then how come we are getting 3.0 instead of 3.5? Now this is simply because here we are using the integer value 7 and again integer value 2. To make the result x as the floating point value we have to either use 7.0 here with the f and then run the code. So here we go, we get the expected output of 3.5 finally. And in case you make it 2.0f and remove the f from here, then also our output will work fine. Again, we get 3.5 as the output. And now, apart from this, you can also use something different, such as typecast it into float. Let's see what is the output right now. So here we go 3.5 again is the output. So always make sure if you want the floating point value on the left hand side then you have to make sure the right side it has to be a floating point values. Either 7 should be a float value or 2 should be a float value or what you can do you can simply typecast it here as the float value. And now what will happen suppose if I use double here and again let us remove the float here and run the java code and this time again it is showing 3.0 as a value so here again what we can do let's make it 7.0 and then run the code so here we get 3.5 as the output so make sure whatever result that you expect here it actually depends on the value present on the right hand side and now let us proceed a step ahead and let us try something different. Now here in front of you I have some arithmetic expression or you can say the mathematical expression 2 plus 3 minus 4 into 5 modulus 8 divided by 4. Now in case of Java there is some rule of associativity and for the arithmetic operator we have left to right associativity and while solving this arithmetic expression we have one more concept of precedence. Now for the precedence we give more priority to multiplication, modulus or division operators. 
compared to plus and minus operators. So while solving this expression, first we need to proceed from left to right. Now when starting from left, we encounter plus and then minus and then multiplication. So among these three, we will give more priority to this multiplication symbol. So for this, how Java is going to solve this expression? It is simply going to break it into 2 plus 3 minus 20. Now this 20 comes from here, 4 into 5. So first of all, this 4 into 5 gets executed. So this becomes 20 modulus 8 divided by 4. And now we have plus, minus and modulus symbol. So among these three, we will give more priority to this modulus symbol. 20 modulus 8 gives us the remainder of 4. So in this step, we have 2 plus 3 minus 4 divided by 4. And now in this step, 4 divided by 4 will be executed because of the precedence rule. Fine. So 4 divided by 4 is 1 and now we are left with 2 plus 3 minus 1. That comes out to be 4 at the end. So this x will get the value of 4. So let us now run our code. So here we go, we get the 4 as the output at the end. And now as per the precedence rule, we saw that multiplication, modulus and division sign are given more priority. But what will happen if I put a bracket here before 3 and a bracket after 4? Now as per the rule right now, we give more priority to this bracket. So whatever is present inside the bracket will be solved first. So here the output will be like this. First this expression will be solved. Then after that multiplication will be solved. Then after that modulus will be solved. And finally this division will be solved. And at the end this addition will be solved. So accordingly we will get the result. So let us run our code and here we get 1 as the output. So by simply using the brackets, we can manipulate the result. So at the end, let us summarize the precedence importance. That is multiplication, division and modulus has more priority than this plus and minus operators. And then we have associativity that simply solves the equation from left to right. So for example, we had this expression inside the IntelliJ IDE. So this is how we solved it, right, step by step. So this is all about this video. Please subscribe to this channel and catch you guys in the next video and do leave a comment below the video to support the work. Thank you.